Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Today, we are going to be finishing off our Iron Golem farm. And as you guys can see, a lot of improvements from yesterday. We got a couple of the spawners in there. And uh, you guys might be wondering how I'm placing the spawners down. It's because as I am OP'd on the server, um, it lets me place down the spawners. But I'll show you guys. Where did I put the spawners? Um, Where did I put them? I forgot where I put them. No, did I drop them somewhere? Oh, well, I'll just go back to the shop. I think I need to buy some anyways because I, I ran out. I think actually Pelo said he had some. Can I access his thing? Pelo said that he had uh, 50 golem spawners for me, but obviously they are in. Um, they're, they're obviously in his e chest and he's not online right now. So I'm going to actually buy some just to show you guys exactly how it is I am placing these uh, these golem spawners. But so because the reason I'm opt, guys, I can actually place down these spawners. But if you guys look really, really carefully, if I place it down, it turns into an iron golem. But if I mine it, it doesn't, it doesn't get mined. So the only reason why I'm able to place these spawners, guys, is because I do have OP on the server. The Silk Touch spawners plugin still is broken. For, so for you people who are waiting for it to be fixed, do not use them. The only reason I can place mine is, once again, I am the admin on the server. And it just lets me place them without the actual thing breaking. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. And finish off uh, this iron golem spawner for you guys today. So for you guys following this tutorial, you guys will be able to uh, just follow these steps and basically finish off your farm. But right before we do that, I had one of my, um, I had one of my, what's it called? One of my helpers said um, that they had uh, obsidian for me. Uh, Dench said he had two double chests of obsidian to sell for me. So I'm messaging him right now. Is he online? The Dench. Uh, are you can can I buy the obsidian now oh he says TP okay TP the dench alright so I'm just gonna TP to him um, obviously where is it alright so should I just uh, message the dench which chests so I guess he's gonna he wants me to just F bypass it so then I could just grab it from his chest and then I'll just uh, go ahead and TP home. So we have I'm enabling F bypass. So he says he's gonna sell me two double chests, which are these right here. Thank you, Dench. I'm gonna go ahead and pay you, but hold on before we do that. Let me I have one already. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So thirty times thirty is nine hundred K. Pay the Dench kid nine hundred K. And then slash home new base. Let me go ahead and put these in uh, the chest right here. So we have a couple of double chests now all ready to be building. So as you guys can see, my faction is slowly starting to get everything uh, together. They're, they're getting all of the um, actual... Where should I put this for now? I guess over here. They're getting all of the actual spawners and stuff all set up and ready. All the walls are all set up and ready. So the first one was 30, but then I had an extra stack. So this should be... 30 uh 31 so 930k pay the dench kid this is so much money that we're spending on obsidian but it's going to be so worth it so home new base that's another 930k go ahead and put it in here and then we're going to go ahead and finish off the rest of our spawner room uh, i just wanted to show you guys this once again just because i love buying obsidian uh, that's another 930k so i could just scroll up pay him uh, slash home new base message message the dench thanks <laughs> all right thank you dench quick shout outs to you man thank you for selling all that obsidian we're gonna end up using this very very quickly actually so yeah let's go ahead and head on over to this uh where did i put the glass we're gonna go ahead and finish off this little area up here and uh snicks actually is starting to try to make this place look a little bit more presentable so she's got some floors made so we're gonna be able to expand this base as much as we can actually i think i have a home set up there home golem top i think i said it as oh what the heck? Yeah, life. I fell. Okay, that was a bad idea. Do I have any ender pearls? No, I do not. I think I set the home. I think I set the home where I had the uh, where I put the fence, and I completely forgot. Let me go ahead and do that. <clears throat> 
All right, let's go ahead and head on up. So if you guys can see, um, I'm, I kind of just basically went off of the last uh, digits that I that I kind of explained in the last video. Just a 20 by 16 room. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 20. I can recount it real quickly for you guys here. So let me go here. Let me jump down. So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's an 18 by 18 square. And this means that you can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different types of spawners in here. And uh, or five rows and then obviously one two three four five so each row or each level of iron golem spawners will have 25 spawners in each level so the thing is I also put um, a little AFK pool so the AFK pool is gonna be right here I haven't fully made it yet but it's gonna be in this spot right here and if you guys can look really really closely let me see do I have optifine on I do if you look at those corners right there if I'm standing on this block those corners are still gonna be spawning so this is the most ideal spot that one's not spawning over there this is the most ideal spot to kind of uh, be situated in um, if you guys could you'd probably want to lower this one more lower just to have everything spawning perfectly but that's just really in your opinion or however much money you guys do want to spend god dang it and I forgot to set a home up there but uh, yeah so it's an 18 by 18 square and then you have a 5 by 5 a uh, sort of layer wow this freaking enderman's attacking me now five by pirate sort of layer around uh your entire like inside your entire base so i'm actually gonna do slash fly i'm gonna explain it's gonna be a little bit easier to explain this if i if i am flying so in the iron golem spawner room guys you want to keep the iron spawners the golem spawners always two blocks away from everything else so what i'm talking about is if you guys count really closely there's one two blocks away from the wall here and then there's one. Oh my gosh, this I need to. It's just lag. Am I still in vanish? I don't think so. It's just lagging. Yeah, it's just lagging very bad. And then there's two blocks above this one and this spawner. The only part that I is gonna be a little bit of a trouble is above the very very top layer. It's only gonna be a one block airspace. It's gonna cut down the efficiency a little bit, but it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be too detrimental. So it should still end up working just fine as long as you make every, the rest of the farm as big as possible. So we're obviously gonna finish off this roof here. And uh, once we do finish off the roof, I want to leave a little bit of an opening. I'm actually going to set home here. Set home, golem top, just in case I do fall in. I do have some god apples because I'm probably going to end up falling into the lava once or twice. But yeah, once once you guys have this little la layer done, this is all. It's basically, it's really, really simple to get all these spawners placed. Looks like somebody on my faction tried to place a golem spawner and it was obviously broken. So all you have to do is just two blocks. It's two blocks away from that wall, two blocks away from this spawner, two blocks away from everything in every direction. Now all you have to do is obviously if you're just starting out, you place two blocks here and then your spawner. Just make sure it's two blocks away from each wall and then to place the next layer, you just do two blocks up and then a spawner and then just repeat two blocks up and then a spawner two blocks up and then a spawner so it's very very simple obviously uh the hard part is gonna be uh i need a god apple uh slash home golem top the hard part of this entire project is gonna be trying to uh destroy all the blocks you placed without uh destroying the spawners it's not it's not too hard it's just uh kind of time consuming but as you guys can see you kind of just have to jump to the lower level i mean you guys could honestly place a bunch of cobble around here to give yourself a platform when you're first doing this so it's not it's not a hard job and this is the completed iron golem farm guys so once again just to recap i'm just gonna fly around just so i could show you guys everything really quickly we have one two three four five by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so we have a five by seventeen 5 times 17 so this is 85 double chests worth of items that you can collect. So if you guys take a quick look, I'm not sure if anything has been starting to collect yet. But there you go. There's iron ingots starting to collect. All the roses are starting to collect. And a couple of the comments in the past videos were like, why are you using trap chests? And the reason we're using trap chests is because so we can put the chests directly in front of each other like so. And that is the reason why we are using trap chests. So uh, 5 by 18 or 5 by 17 um, chest area here. 
in the back area we're going to have obviously a hopper system all the hopper systems are just going to be feeding into their own specific chest so each row has their own chest like so and then all you all all you want on the very very last level is chests or hoppers going straight into their adjacent chest and this will basically make a nice collection area for all of your single chests in this uh farm so that is the very bottom portion of the farm um, quick tips on the inside you obviously want a two block air gap here and then the third will be your lava layer very simple to make the lava just buy some lava buckets in the shop like I did and then um, just put lava all around it's very very nice and simple the signs are probably what takes the most longest other than the wall and then obviously you're gonna want a wall or a cage whatever you guys really want for this outside portion of your farm you can make this cobble you can make this obsidian I like to make a glass because I like to look at all the iron golem spawners inside it's really up to you guys on on what you want to put on the outside of that and then yeah so another quick tip right before uh, we kind of just finish off this build you guys are gonna want at least like a five uh, like a 10 to 20 block drop above the lava this this makes it so that your iron golem spawner once you've placed it is the most efficient that it can possibly be so if you guys take a quick look here this is about 20 blocks above the the first the lava layer so this very first layer of iron golem spawners you're gonna want it at least 10 10 to 20 blocks above this to make sure that it is spawning in maximum efficiency so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish the rest of this uh, we're gonna place the rest of these uh, spawners obviously and uh, yeah, it's a, I'm kind of happy that I am up just because I can place these spawners and it's really an inconvenience to everybody else right now because obviously not everybody can place their spawners uh, currently due to the freaking spawner plugin being broken but it's not it's not too uh it's not too bad it'll eventually be fixed hopefully very very soon and when that does happen uh you guys will be able to basically oh my god this server's lagging that it's not detecting the blocks i'm placing but yeah so hopefully the silk touch spawner uh plugin is fixed very soon so you guys can uh basically imitate the farm that i'm making and uh start to become a rich rich faction of your own and iron golems is probably the best way to get rich and honestly i'm probably gonna when the server does reset in the near future i'm probably gonna lower the prices for iron ingots so that um the reason I'm going to do that is just to kind of uh, save the economy and uh, make it so that people can get OP too fast. And uh, it'll be a really nice change. Maybe make the ingots just cost a little bit less. And uh, hopefully you guys don't mind that, but it'll be part of the new economy. So everybody, once again, will have a fresh start. So no, no one's going to have an advantage over another person. So it'll be, real, it'll be really, really nice that way. So hopefully you guys do enjoy those changes once they do occur. So I'm basically just going to repeat this process throughout this entire farm. I obviously don't have enough spawners. I need to wait for Pelotor to log in so because he has another 50 spawners for me. And uh, yeah, so in the next episode, I am planning a raid. I'm still looking for some. Uh, you guys haven't sold me any yet, so I'm probably going to, after this uh, video is done recording, I'm probably going to uh, look for a raid myself. I haven't done that in a while. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have one. I have a couple saved, but I don't want to do them yet. I'm kind of waiting for that faction to kind of get a little stronger. I have a couple of set homes. Not going to say who it is because it will obviously uh, give it away on uh, who whose faction i have and whatnot so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of leave them be for the meantime um, i'm gonna try to knock this spawner i knew, i really need some ender pearls so then i can knock these things off i need to i haven't even put this uh this layer down here do i i should have some home new base uh let me check if i have some ender pearls oh i have four ender pearls on me nice uh slash back all right let's jump down here push you off Let's go ahead and make this roof right here so then these ones don't spawn. Oh, no, I missed. God dang it. Home ingot. Home golem top. That's what it was. Okay, so let's get on over here. Let's place these walls. So we're going to slowly work on here. Um, I kind of want to change up my, my AFK mechanism here because um, this water tool or this water jump, whatever you want to call it, the water jump doesn't work very well if you're making this type of farm because you are going to be, uh, for like milliseconds at a time, you will be above or below the actual uh, spawner itself. So it's a little bit confusing. It's a little bit harder, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. So we're just finishing off our farm today. Um, all of these farms are basically very, very similar. Like you guys, all the major factions are probably using this, uh, this type of farm now. They, theirs might not be 100% efficient, but it's the basic, the same basic concept. 
And uh, if you guys if you guys are aware, if you guys have raided any OP bases lately, they're probably almost 90% of them have a farm uh, very very similar to this one. So uh, it's a rare that that's just that just goes to show you guys that uh, this farm is really 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 good. And you guys should end up you know you guys should try to invest in one yourself because it is the way to go if you want to have an iron golem farm. It's just simply that that case I guess you could say the case when you it's this type of farm. It's just the most efficient one that you can have and uh yeah you, you can start making money off of this um a lot of people have been asking for sell signs recently and um the owners actually told me that once the reset does happen we're not going to be making sell signs anymore i'll just have a bunch of uh bulk sell signs at my uh faction base or not at the faction base at the shop and the bulk sell signs will act as uh people will just have to teleport to the shop and then sell them that way because honestly guys uh making sell signs for everybody does take up a lot of time and uh, I don't want to just be stuck doing that. I, I actually do like to, uh, I like to, um, you know, actually play. And I don't want to be, when I'm live streaming, I don't want to be just making signs. It's a little bit boring uh, for everybody to watch. So I, I, I'd rather prefer just making like the bulk signs that I currently have like right now. And I'd rather just make more bulk signs in the shop so people can just warp to the shop and sell it there. Or maybe we'll have even like a selling plugin. So we're not even... We're not even really uh, sure yet what we want to fully do, but uh, we're going to end up doing some of that. So no more sell signs, guys. I'm very, very sorry. Um, I mean, some of the... I'll probably have a couple in my base just because I am an admin and I just can put one really quickly. But, I mean, some requests I'll do. I just can't do everybody's requests because obviously we can't... We can't... Um, we can't get everybody uh, happy as, as as happy as they want to be. I mean, we try we try our best to keep our customers happy, but it's uh, just some of those things are just very, 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 very time consuming, and it's very hard. Oh my God, I fell again. Uh, home golem top. And it's just very hard to please everybody when it comes to making signs. And I just can't get to all, like, 10,000 of you players who want sell signs in their base. And uh, hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. But obviously, it's for the good of... It's just for, for time saving and just for, for my sanity's sake. Uh, I don't want to get become crazy here because... I'm making sell signs for everybody all the time. So thank you. Hopefully you guys understand. But um, I don't mind making them. It's just it's just really, really boring. And I don't want to do it every single time I live stream. So we'll, we'll kind of decide as it goes. Or we'll see uh, exactly where it leads when, when we get further. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our farm. How many layers do we have here? We're going to have one, two, three four layers so four times 25 is 100 golem spawners in this room nice and efficient that's that's basically what we've been going for so this is going to be the best and maximum efficiency that we could do um in a 16 by 16 chunk without overloading the actual spawners so if you guys are interested in making this farm go watch the past two videos watch this video everything is kind of just uh, summarized as we go so it's, it's really really helpful especially if you guys are uh, making farms and you guys want to get really really rich it's nice and easy so we're gonna go ahead this is probably the last video of that that will be focusing mainly on the iron golem spawners uh it's basically done and uh hopefully hopefully the iron spot or the silk touch spawners plugin hopefully the developer fixes that if you guys want to uh keep updated on what's happening with those uh that plugin specifically you guys can visit their plugin page actually and the plugin page will kind of uh explain exactly why they're taking so long they're having a bunch of compatibility issues with uh the current minecraft and uh i can't we can't we can't really do anything about that it's not really in our control um, but it hopefully it gets fixed as soon as like as soon as they can and uh, hopefully it gets fixed very soon because a lot of people are waking to make spawners and it's just really really hard uh, when we're trying to uh, please a bunch of people and everybody just can't make spawners it's really 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 frustrating so uh, hopefully that'll get fixed soon and if it doesn't uh, we just apologize we can't really <laughs> we can't really say anything else other than that. But yeah, this is basically the same tactic that I've always used for making my iron golems farms. Just literally just building the first layer, which is probably the most difficult. And then after that, all you got to do is just make quick jumps, make some parkour moves. Oh, I forgot to break the glass over there. Uh, all right, there we go. Nice jump. Holy crap. That was amazing. Go ahead and break those. So as you guys can see, these spawners here, oh, I forgot to put a roof there. But the ones that are spawning here, they're actually spawning below now. They're just dropping straight down into the iron golem spawner. And that means that our farm is working. That is exactly what we want to happen. That is exactly what, oh, no, I overjumped it. Uh, home golem top. That is exactly what we want to do. And uh, we're just going to go ahead. Oops, 
Wow, did he just punch me? I think he did punch me. Slash eat. Let me slash eat myself. Uh, go ahead and push this off while I can. Oh my gosh, he fell onto the one layer that I didn't want to fall him off on. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, I need to stop. Get Go. Oh, no. Dang it. <laughs> I'm failing my jumps right now. I'm like, I don't know why. Let me eat a god apple so I have fire resistance. All right, let's just go into here. There we go. All right, and then parkour jump here. And then push that aside. Put these glass blocks over so they don't spawn. There we go. Uh, this this guy's this little guy's got to move. Boom. Bye bye. Let's jump back here. Place these spawners or place the glass. So the reason why I'm placing glass up top is because um, mobs don't spawn at the very on glass. Like it's a transparent block, so they don't spawn on transparent blocks. And that's the reason why we're using glass. And you guys could use glowstone. Uh, gl I don't think glowstone changes the spawn rates too much, so I don't think glowstone would be too bad of an idea. So if you guys want to invest in some glowstone for this project, you guys can go ahead. Uh, so let's see how many, I have 31 more spawners. Let's see if we can place these on camera and then we can go ahead and end the video. Uh, if you guys are interested once again in uh, learning how to make the full tutorial or like big quick overviews of the farm, go ahead and watch the previous videos. I kind of went through all of the overviews for for it in this video, but if you guys missed some parts or if you guys didn't understand some parts, you can always rewind. You guys can always do all that all that good stuff just to just to fully understand this uh, golem farm. So gonna go ahead and continue our build let's break this glass did i miss any glass over there uh no my so the server is lagging a little bit guys you guys see that um you guys see that a lot of stuff is uh being placed but it doesn't show for a couple of seconds so hopefully that's not doesn't uh affect your guys' uh ratings for this <laughs> for this video but we're getting the job done right we're getting the job done i'll probably start afking again starting tonight because uh we obviously need more money because we've just been buying tons and tons of obsidian you guys saw at the very very beginning of the episode right there that i spent like what was that like maybe three mil just to buy two double chests, which I really, really like. And I'll be able to start uh, expanding the outside of my base very soon. And uh, so in the comment section below, guys, right before I end this video, what do you guys want me to uh, time lapse? So I kind of time lapsed a little bit of the, uh, the wall building. I don't want to do another two episodes of time lapsing those. I'll probably just end up doing that with snicks and we'll all just, we'll both just get together. And also insanity, we'll both just get together and uh, kind of just knock that out in one night. But I don't want to time lapse like 50 episodes of that. So in the comments section below, guys, if I am going to time lapse more stuff, what do you want me to time lapse? What do you, what exactly, what kind of tutorials do you guys want me to do? So give me some ideas. We'll, I'll grab the best ones, obviously. And um, if I like the idea, I will end up time lapsing those, uh, those specific tutorials or those specific uh, guides and whatnot. So in the comment section below, guys, once again, leave a comment on what you guys would want me to time lapse. And then once you guys leave enough comments, I'll end up choose picking a couple of them, maybe one or two of them. And then we'll go ahead, continue with our raids. We still have to clean up the faction, uh, the faction base a little bit, but I promise you guys we'll have a raid in the next episode. I'll try to find another, another amazing God vault for you guys. And uh, if I do, that's going to be another amazing uh, re recording. Oh, did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong. I think I measured that wrong. Let me let me check real quick. So what do I have to What do, what did I re what did I misplace something? I misplaced Oh no, I misplaced this one. Oh, that's a waste of a spawner. All right. Hold on. Let me All right. So I fell down, so let me just jump back down. Then I'll go home golem top. This one is misplaced. Oh, I keep doing that. This one right here is misplaced. Oh, that's such a it's a wasted spawner. Oh, that's so bad. That's 300k I just wasted, and this one, that's 600k I just wasted because I have to mine this one too. Man, that's so depressing. Oh well, no no big deal. We'll we'll eventually make those back. So hopefully hopefully we can get this farm started as soon as possible so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, today's video we're gonna go ahead and end up uh i'm gonna i need to wait for pelator to get online he is from australia so we're gonna have to wait for him to get online to get the rest of the spawners i don't want to spend too much because i do still have to buy a ton of obsidian so thank you guys for watching today's episode hopefully you guys learned something with this new iron golem farm very very simple to make one of the best money makers just use that same tactic all the way around i'm going to probably repeat the process all the way over here 
I'm actually gonna drop down and finish this right as I do my outro. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys learned something new, make sure you guys, whoa, what the heck, I lagged. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment, as I, as I was saying in the video, leave a comment on some uh, things or on, on some things that you guys want me to time lapse, and I'll be doing that in the next couple of episodes. I'll look for another raid for you guys. It'll be an, another amazing, another amazing little uh, a couple of days coming up. So thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me. And uh, thank you for watching. Hit that like button for me, guys. And we will see you guys later.